Ooh. Hey guys, it is Nora Wilson. I'm getting ready to go over vocab for the second time. You watched this video already on Monday, so I'm going to go quick. Remember, you need to be able to pronounce these words and say them at home. So let's get to it. Here we go. Palabra numero uno. This is in the vocab handout that I've given you a couple of times. It's the second section of the green words that are highlighted if you're looking to see the words written out. So a backpack in Espanol is called la mochila. It is una palabra femenina. It's feminine. I know that because it ends in an A right here. And we have the definite article la. If you wanted to say a backpack, that would be una mochila. It's feminine. Yes. All right. A pencil. A pencil in Espanol. Ooh, I'm covering this up. Can I move me? Yes. All right. A pencil is called el lapis. Now, la piece doesn't end in an O, it ends in a Z. So you just have to memorize that this is a masculine word. El lapis, the pencil. If I want to say I have a pencil, that would be un lapis. Moving on, palabra numero dos. Maybe moving on. I'm not sure why I'm not moving on. There we go. The word for a pin right here. There are actually two words for pin in Espanol. You have la pluma, which is feminine. And then you have el bolígrafo, which is masculine. It depends, whoa, what happened here? It depends on which country that you're in, which word that you'll hear. I usually use la pluma just because it's shorter, it's easier, and it doesn't have an accent like el bolígrafo. Let me move myself around yet again. Where can I stay? Maybe here. Okay, a notebook is a cuaderno. You can tell that cuaderno is masculine and ends in an O. That's why I picked L. Good grief. I'm not doing this so well today. Let's see. That's why I picked L cuaderno. If I wanted to say a notebook, that would be un cuaderno. All right. Next one. Notes. The word for notes in Spanish is going to be los apuntes. Can I get rid of this? Ah! I'm having all kinds of crazy problems today. This is Sonora Wilson with technology, maybe not at her finest. All right. The word for notes is going to be los apuntes. Okay. Apuntes does not end in an O. It does not end, well, it doesn't end in an S, but it does not end in an O. You just have to memorize that los apuntes are indeed notes. Word for a test is an examen. Now that's easy to remember because it sounds like test, it looks like test, and it means test. It's a cognate, woohoo, el examen. It doesn't end in an O, so the only way that you know that it's el examen is by memorizing. Tienes que memorizar esta palabra. All right, next word. Oh, I'm gonna have to move me over again. Let's see, where can I go? I'm gonna put myself down here for now. The next word is a closet or a locker. It is el armario. Now this one's nice because it ends in an O, so I can tell that it is indeed masculine. That's why I picked the el armario and not la armario. Inside your armario, you have things like ropa, zapatos, y otras cosas, things like that, chaquetas, pantalones. All right, please notice armario looks nothing like closet, doesn't sound like closet, it's not a cognate. Over here, the word, let me move myself over. Ooh, I got myself bigger. No, oh, well, the word for a chair. There are two words for chair. There is el asiento, which is masculine. It ends in an A, so I picked the definite article, el. Or there is la silla. I told you last time that you can remember la silla, but like silla later, okay? La silla is actually feminine. It ends in an A, so it doesn't matter which one you pick. El asiento or la silla are both just fine. Word for an ID in Spanish. It's a long word. That's because in English we're lazy. And instead of calling our ID our identification, where is your identification? Whoops, there's mine. Where's your identification? We just shorten it to 
ID, all right? But the actual word is identification. And look, we have la identificacion. Sounds like ID, looks like ID, means ID. It's a cognate. And here on your identificacion, what is ver? You can see that there is un hombre. We know he's an hombre, not a mujer. All right, so el hombre está en la identificación. Next word we have, let me move myself out of the way again. I'm everywhere. The word for a book is el libro. Please notice, libro ends in an O. It's masculine. If you want to get really specific, you could say that you are reading a novel. A novel is la novela. It's feminine. How do I know that it's feminine? Hmm. Because it ends in the letter A, termina con la letra A. So tenemos el libro o la novela. I think these are, nope, we got four more. All right, paper you should know from Spanish one. Paper is papel. Now the only way that you're going to know that it's el papel is you got to memorizar la palabra. You can't tell that papel is masculine because it doesn't end in an O. You just have to know. So yo tengo mucho papel in mi mochila. The word for tape is called cinta. Some people call it cinta adhesiva. Let's just go with cinta. Hopefully you can look at cinta and say, hey, that ends in an A. That's a feminine word. That's why Senora put a la cinta or una cinta with the word. All right, this is the last screen. We have a stapler. A stapler is called a grapadora. Let's say it, grapadora. How do I know that I picked the la? Hmm, because I looked at the end of the word. Graparora termina con la A. It ends with an A. So it is la graparora and not el graparora. Last word, scissors. Scissors are hard to remember, but I told you last time my memory trick. Remember, T, hair, and then all of us, pronounced as, and you get tijeras, las tijeras. Tijeras are plural, just like they are in English. I know that because it ends in an S. I can tell that it's una palabra femenina, a feminine word, porque termina en la A-S, because it ends in A-S, las tijeras. All right, let me double check. Yep, that's all. Let's go back. So that is vocab at a glance. We'll do the next section later on, but you need to be able to know what these words mean and know how to pronounce them. Vamos a pronunciarlos. Let's see. How do I remember how to get out of this? I don't remember how to get out of it. How do I get out of it? What did I do? I don't know. Hmm. 